Hi, I'm Bill Myers and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to instantly remove the background from your images. Now the images can be clip art, they can be photos, they can be other things. They can't be video, but it's still a pretty useful program. Now if you already have Photoshop Elements or Smart Photo Editor, you probably don't need to know how to do this because you can do this in those programs. But if you don't have those programs or don't want to fire up those programs and just want a quick way to do it, I'm going to show you an easier way. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to a website called clippingmagic.com. That's what we're looking at here. And when you get to the top of the page, it's going to look like this. And you'll see something that says remove image backgrounds and then drag and drop image here. And what you can do is you can choose a file from your computer. And again, that can be any type of image file. And when you choose it, it'll upload. Now, I've already uploaded two of them. And I'm going to run one just to show you what it looks like. Now, this is a clip art image. And we're going to click it. It loads it. And this is what it looks like. Now, what you do to remove the background is you use the red and green dots. Now plus, you go through and you mark what you want to keep. In this case, I want to keep this. And I want to keep this. And then you use the red dot to mark what you want to remove. The white background. Now on the right here, I can see what I've done. Now you notice here that I've kind of messed up with this red dot. I edged over into the easel, which made it messed up over here. And I can fix that by using the touch up. I can just go through and bring that back by doing this. And it gets most of it back. Now, if I don't like what I've done, if I say, well, I've messed up, it's easier just to fix it by restarting. I can click clear, start completely over. I'll put the red dot over here a little bit further away so I don't hit the easel. I'll make sure I get between here and here. I'll put the red dot on this side. That tells it what to remove. I use the green to show it what to keep. And you can see over here on this side that it has removed the background. If I like what I've got, all I have to do is click download to download it. It's pretty neat. Of course, that was easy. That was clip art. But what if I have something else? What if I have a photograph? Well, I'll show you what I've done with a photograph. I'm going to close this one. And I'm back to the remove image backgrounds. Now, I've previously loaded a photograph of myself. So I'm going to click that to reload it. And you can see that I did the same thing I did before. I started with a photograph here. I put a red outline around the background. I put green on me, and it cleared the background. It's pretty easy to do. I can show you how I did that. I'll hit clear again, and I started by putting red around the part that I don't want. Just draw around the area that I don't want, and then use the green to place it in the parts that I do want. And over here, you can see that I probably need to come out a little bit further on this edge. And I can get what I want. And then I can touch up. Now, the way you can touch up is you can move things around like that. Or you can use the zoom to zoom into the image to get closer so that you can get a tighter feel of what you're drawing. And you can see here I've got a part that I missed. Again, if I want to remove that, all i got to do is hit the red, bring it over here. I probably want to zoom in a little bit so I have a little bit more room. And just click right in there. It does a pretty good job. Sometimes you do have to do a little touch up to make it look better. But you can see over here that I've done in a few seconds what it might take other programs a longer time to do. Let's zoom out so we can see. So that's what we started with and that's what we ended with. Now if I want to save that, I can save it. Now everything that's in checkerboard here is transparent. Anyway, it's a pretty neat program. To find this, you just go to clippingmagic.com. And when you get to Clipping Magic, again, all you have to do is choose a file and bring it up and do the things that I just showed you. Or you can scroll down. It has tutorials on how to do it. it has examples. Tells you how to refine edges. Even shows you how to separate out hair to get clean backgrounds. So the site is clippingmagic.com. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. You can find more like this at www.bmyers.com.